Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Susan Axelrod. Thank you. So the night is still young, and I, I actually am thrilled to report to you that before um, some activities that are about to follow, we've already raised $900,000 tonight. So thank you. Which makes me absolutely certain that tonight is going to be our first $1 million night. So, And let me tell you what that would mean. At Cure, we promote and support the cutting-edge science that will lead us closer to answers and cures for people like Lauren and people like Olivia. Her story and so many others are what inspire us. In our first year, back in 1998, we received just a handful of applications from scientists for funding. This year, we received 150 from brilliant scientists all around the world. They are poised and they are ready to find solutions, but the worst part of our job is when we have to turn down promising science simply because we don't have the funds to support it. So that's why what you're doing tonight with your support is so vitally important. Because what stands between the researchers and the advances we need is, one word, money. This year, we're planning on investing $3.5 million in research, more than we have ever funded before. We're thrilled we can do this, but we're still far short of where we need to be. We just had a major breakthrough with one of our grants that looked into the chemical changes in the brain that are triggered by a high-fat diet called the ketogenic diet, a pretty extreme diet that for some kids who don't respond to drugs can help reduce or actually sometimes even stop their seizures. These findings, discovered jointly by a cell biologist at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute and a neurobiologist at Harvard, lay the basis for new treatments that could potentially shut down those electrical storms in certain kids' brains that lead to epilepsy. We are thrilled that Cure's investment in this project is so close to truly making a difference for so many kids. With that, I would like to introduce my really good friend and our dinner chair for tonight, Bill Daly. Please give him a great round of applause.